Hi everyone, Scott Smith, Russ Snack BMW on a cloudy day in Southern California at Russ Snack BMW. And we're located in Thousand Oaks, California. Hey, if anybody's looking for a BMW in the state of California, you know, please go to the About section of my channel and shoot me an email. Definitely would like to have a chance to earn your business. Check out this new M4 convertible. We've got it in the black sapphire metallic with your secure orange interior. All right, and let's start talking about all the cool stats on the car. First off, we can see up front, you've got your signature double ribbed black kidney grills. Now that isn't a standard feature, as at, at least yet, um, but we do do a port installed on that. So when these come in from Germany into the United States in Port Wainimi, we go ahead and throw on some stuff to just to give it a nice little signature look. So, and you can see that front end down below, you can see all the cooling that we have down there, but that custom designed bumper with the M series, they definitely have a signature look. This one does have your adaptive Xenon headlights, that is a standard feature on the M4. Let's go ahead and move around. This one we have upgraded with the very popular 19 inch um, M department designed uh, light alloy M wheels. Um, you can see those brakes back there, the M compound brakes. 15 inch rotor up front. 14.6 inch rotor in the back. Trish is kind of moving that wheel around a little bit. You got four piston up front, two piston in the back. So you definitely have the proper stopping power for this amazing machine. Also with BMW, not just with high performance, but also the efficiency. You've got a customized rear, um, rear vent here on the front wheel well to help deal with uh, wind turbulence inside there. So they're always thinking both efficiency and high performance. And you got that little signature M4 there badge. All right. Hey, Trish. <laughs> Let's do a little rev time with the professional here. Is that awesome or what? Okay, let's go ahead and go underneath the hood now. Now this just this does weigh just over 4,100 pounds. Um, it's 184 inches long. And there's my co-host Trish. How you doing? Hi guys. <laughs> All right. Cool. So let's go here. There's your signature uh, strut brace, guys. Carbon fiber. Very cool design from BMW. This is a three-liter. Um, in line six, it is a twin turbo, mono scroll each. Um, it's going to be 425 in horsepower at 5,500 RPMs, and you got 406 torque at 1850 RPMs. All right, let's go ahead and close this up. All right, Scott, let's go and take a look at the back seat. Okay. All righty, so when you're loading passengers in and out of the back seat, it's very easy and convenient. So you have a lovely button here. You're going to press that the seat will come completely forward and it's really really easy to get in and out when the top is down so you'll pull the seat forward here and you just climb on in we'll pull this back and of course adjust the seat and Trish is 5'9 without the heels guys so you can see she's actually got good space she can sit up straight too which is nice being a hard top convertible the shoulder width definitely expanded from our previous generation way back in the 06's when we had the 3 series ragtop M3's so definitely a nice larger back seat also go ahead and jump out Trish so if the ladies are in the back seat, it's a lot easier for them to get out, especially wearing a dress or dressed up. Put the top down really quick, and as you can see, they can stand up straight, just walk right out. All right, let's go around, and we're going to show you the wind uh, deflector. So we will cool. show how easy that is to put in and out of the car. So you'll put this down here, and now these are included with the convertibles, everyone. go let's grab that for Trish whoop there we go so she's gonna unfold that there I'll go ahead and grab it with my other hand and then guys you'll see there's just slots that they both go into she's got that one there's and then on her here, side so you'll twist that that goes in easily and you kind of bend it a little bit it does it's flex. very flexible yes and then that snaps in very nicely here and then all you do is you grab this little indention here and this lovely part pops up. Definitely very nice. And one thing you can see is they do 
block the, the backdraft wind and stuff, especially on that freeway and stuff down here and here. And also if we fold it back down real quick, Trish, you can see guys, you can just leave it in, or ladies, leave it in the car while you have the top up. You don't have to take it out. Obviously you can't use the back seat for any passengers or anything, but you do have some protection to put stuff underneath if the trunk is full. Um, and when the windows, let's go ahead and put it up one more time. And when the windows are up, it's amazing the kind of pocket that you will get in here. So at freeway speeds, there's virtually no wind. I mean, it's amazing. So it's definitely an awesome piece to have if there's one or two of you and you're heading out on a cruise up to you know another city, the beach, cross country. Um, it's very, very nice. So let's go ahead and take it out. So we'll have Trish do that. Watch your fingers, okay. And then you just do that lock right there. So it's really easy. Boom. There you go. Cool. All right, let's check out the truck. So we don't get to show you convertibles often, so we want to show you the really great transformer thing on here. So the trunk comes open and you can see the space here, so we'll give them a shot of that. And what's really great, if you want to put extra items into the trunk, uh, BMW has made a really convenient way for you to have extra utility in this trunk. So you'll press this transformer button is what we call it. <laughs> so you press it and it goes up. All right, we got special effects. <laughs> All right, so you can see there, you have a little bit more space, and you will just lift this up here, and you can put items all inside. And there's a pass-through you can see right there, guys. Definitely that became standard on all the cars. So it's nice. Take out that wind deflector, drop the seat, and it's a pretty large opening just in case you do have something that's just not going to fit back here. So then you're going to be sure to put this down before you go ahead and transform it back. Until the green light right here turns back on so you can see right there so you're ready and then you Perfect. can close this and this is a soft close so you can see it really suck the truck back into the vehicle and definitely do not put any mechanisms or carrying cases or bike racks on the back of this trunk on these cars it is not designed to have any additional weight on there all right guys Whoa, Trish is over there now. Okay, so <laughs> get her in the driver's seat. We'll close the door. Yeah, drop that back. And guys, we're gonna do something with the exhaust sound right now. So let's get Trish in there. Go around to the other side. What I thought we'd do is, as we know, there's an efficient mode and a sport mode for the engine management and the, uh, and the exhaust. Um, so I want to back up, put it up against the wall we have here, and uh, we'll try both settings so you can kind of really hear the difference. All right, let's reverse. Okay, punch it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Burn out. Yeah. All right, so. And I'm not even, okay, we can't say that on camera, but okay. I'm, I'm kind of not looking behind me because the camera is so amazing, but definitely do um, look in your mirrors and not rely 100% on the back of camera. That's our disclosure. That's true. Yeah, definitely look over your shoulder if that makes you for com more comfortable. Definitely stay in your comfort zone and backing up. Don't completely rely on the camera. And you can see Trish, we've got both of the things on there. Go ahead and go a little bit more. Give it a little bit of gas. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> You're good right there. Okay, as you can see guys with the sensors right there. So cool. Let me jump back here and Trish is gonna put it in the efficient mode. You got that, Trish? Yep. Okay, so it's in, let's do some rev time. That was the efficient mode? Yes. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, yes, please. That was definitely the sport mode. So yeah, those baffles opened up. This thing just sounds like a monster. So yeah, definitely wanted to show you the differences there. Um, I'm gonna get back inside right now. That way we can show you some of that or Trish can show you some of those features. Also a couple things in the back seat real quick while we're here. You can see that you've got the nice leather, you got cup holders. The one thing I wanted to mention is that if you are gonna have some cargo in the back, drop the seat because you got a nice carpeted dark area. So that way you don't potentially scratch up the leather or the uh, cup holders or any of the cargo space here. All right, and you can see we do have the air conditioning and heating 
<laughs> Trish is having fun in the front seat. <laughs> that way if the top's up, it's hot inside, they've got their own air conditioning. Also, you can see we got the neck warmers. Trish will show you where the controls are for that. All right, neck warmers here. So maybe we'll Perfect. use these today. It might yeah. start raining, so we'll have to put the top up. That would not be good. Yeah, and then tell us about the top button. So this is your convertible top button here. You're going to pull up to put the top up and push down to put the top down. Perfect. And our traditional, amazing... Touchpad. All right, and we got the shortcut <laughs> buttons around there. Yep. Also, we got our double clutch transmission in here, seven speed, and you got three different levels that you can set up for the automatic or manual mode if you would like. What else we got over here, Trish? We have your traction control button here. If you press this button, it's gonna turn off a percentage of your traction control. Now you can hold that button for four seconds and it will turn off a majority of your traction control. So if you want to go drifting and driving, maybe you'll want to press it for four seconds and be a race car driver, but um, be very careful. Now, this is your engine adjustments here, correct, Scott? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, engine management there. Engine management. Atti attitude adjustment. Yes, suspension and your steering. So these are all Great. of your personali personalization keys. Okay, perfect. And just wanted to show you up here, we do have the um, iDrive system here. Now we're still in the reverse mode with the PDC on park distance control. But Trish, we can turn that off right there. Is that correct? There we go. So I just have the split screen up with the main menu and then the navigation. It does have a 20 gig um, hard drive for music. It has that space available in case you want to download. It also will burn your CDs onto the hard drive if you want to just by loading it in. Yeah, you can go ahead. And um, it's a 4.2 version. <laughs> Take your emergency break off yeah. first. <laughs> Trish is going to pull up a little <laughs> bit for us there. And you do have all the streaming available and all that, which is nice with your um, different devices and stuff. And if you needed to plug in your device for charging, you would just open up the center console there and you've got the USB and the aux. Okay, so what we're going to do, and you can see the cup holders have gotten amazing over the years, so BMW's really thought about that. What is that we have there, Trish? Uh, that's a venti or a large. Um, they call it a venti here in the States. Not sure what it's called elsewhere, but it fits perfectly. Um, you can put, you know, decent sized drinks in the cup holders. Definitely, and you can see BMW's put some nice attitude with the contrast stitching. And with this interior, you can see all the way across, and we've got the dark chrome across the door, uh, the doors too. So now Trish is gonna put the top up for us. So let's do that. And I think it's right around 20 seconds, 20 to 23 seconds, if you wanna time it. What's nice too, if there is someone sitting in the back seat, there's nothing that comes into the cabin space. So if you do have four passengers, um, they don't have to worry about um, anything coming and hitting them, depending on their height, obviously. So do make sure you let them know you're putting the top up just in case they're maybe, you know, seven feet and <laughs> sitting in the back seat, which I don't know how they're gonna fit. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the sticker here. Trish is gonna come over. All right, Trish, you ready? Yes, let's go over the stickers. So again, this is a 2016 BMW M4 convertible. This is the ultimate driving machine, just in case you're just now tuning in. Um, <laughs> this is the color black sapphire metallic and the Sakaar orange black full leather. This one does have the executive package. It's gonna give, give you the heated steering wheel, the rear view camera, the lovely neck warmers, retractable headlight washers, park distance control, as well as your heads up display. The M double clutch transmission is included. You have your adaptive M suspension, 19 inch black wheels, alarm system, universal garage door opener, comfort access keyless entry, which we've covered in previous videos. So you can see that there, very convenient option. A lot of things there, guys. You can pause the video at this time if you would like to look at those. The total suggested retail price on this one is 86,000 and you do get so much for that. Oh, and then what do we got over here? It looks like you the... have fuel economy and environment, and you can see there that you have 19 miles per gallon average, average, and then 17 city, 24 highway. Awesome, and there's final assembly there for you. So great, awesome, Trish. Good job. Let me just back off, guys. Oh, one thing to mention too, Trish. Um, tell them about the. Um, so guys, I have created a BMW 
BMW Instagram account finally. So you can find me at Trisha underscore BMW. It's Trisha, T-R-I-S-H-A, and I would love to follow you back. I love hearing questions, comments, everything like that. So thank you so much for the support. Great, and yeah, everyone, I finally started up a Facebook page under Scott Smith or Scott BMW Smith. Do have a professional page there. Yeah, please check it out. Hey, send me a friend's request. I like to see what everybody's driving and what everybody's up to. So thank you very much for watching. Bye, Trish. Bye.